7 Ways to Save Money on a Low Income Many of us always want to put money aside for rainy days, but we never get around to doing it. Instead, emergencies arise, bills must be paid, and money has to go. The United States Bureau of Economic Analysis reports that Americans save just 10% of their income. This represents at least 20% in most other countries. If you have a low income and have been thinking about how to save money, here are the 7 ways to save money on a low income. 1. Open a savings account. You should create a savings account specifically for your savings. While funds are available in a checking account, it's human nature to want to spend them. Ensure you set aside some of each paycheck in a savings account and refrain from touching it until it is completely deposited. 2. Save as much as you can. The amount of money you bring in is irrelevant to your ability to save regularly. You need just resolve to set aside some portion of your income, even if it's only 5 or 10 percent. Then, if you're in the practice of putting away some cash each week, no matter how little, it won't seem so out of the ordinary when your income increases. You should prioritize saving for yourself and anybody who looks up to you as a provider and role model. Whether you're a single parent or part of a multi-income family, invest as much as you can afford each week into an emergency fund and leave it there. 3. Settle debt. Debt from sources such as credit cards, school loans, and other loans may make it difficult to achieve one's financial objectives. This is because of the compounding interest, making it almost hard to pay down the principal for a very long period. You should allocate some of your monthly income toward debt repayment, prioritizing high-interest debt. 4. Lower car expenses. Having a car costs a lot of money. You spend a lot of money on insurance, registration, car bills, regular maintenance, unplanned fixes, and petrol every year. So, before you start looking for a car, make sure you can afford one. Then, if you decide to buy one, choose a plan that makes insurance and paying off the car easier. If you do a little research on loans, stores, insurance, and other things, you can save hundreds of dollars. It can also save you money to buy used instead of new. 5. Prioritize your health. Even if money is tight, caring for your health should always come first. If you get ill and have to take time off work, you risk losing your income and may also incur medical costs. Get basic health insurance so that you can keep up with your preventive care and go to the doctor when you need to. Many low-income people don't have insurance because they think it's an unnecessary cost. For instance, recent studies show that only 33% of Canadians with children have life insurance, but you should never cut back on this when you're making a budget. 6. Cut entertainment costs. I'm sorry, but paying for Netflix isn't exactly necessary. If you spend a lot of time and money on leisure and entertainment, it's time to scale down and find cheaper or free alternatives. Try things like going to the library, going for a walk or hike, or hosting a movie or game night at home. 7. Do what you can yourself. Things will always need to be fixed or replaced. And if you have a low income, these fixes can be hard to pay for. You won't be able to afford to fix or replace everything that breaks or wears out right away. So, if you can fix or replace things yourself, you won't have to pay someone else to do it. This can save you a lot of money. Just go to YouTube or a specialized page and learn to do it on your own. Living on a low income doesn't mean you can't be smart with your money. Even if you don't make much money, you can always find a way to save. Even if you have to start small, it's better to do something than to do nothing. This is how you'll meet your income goals and be better off financially in the long run. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and share to your family and friends.